Define your script in one word. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Yay! Welcome to Developers in Dev, a community for young developers to grow your tech career. I'm Jorge Ferreiro, and this is the interview with Paco Estevez, Senior Software Engineer at Facebook. This is the first part of the interview, the 360. 15 questions, 5 minutes, 360 degrees. If you really like this interview and you want to dive deep on Paco's profile, I prepare a long interview, the in-depth interview, that you have the link in bio. That's all! Let's get started! Okay, Paco, so when did you start coding and why? Uh, I started coding when I was 16. Uh, basically, I'm from a small town in the middle of Spain and there was like this extracurricular class that you could take and I just got in and I love programming ever since. Cool, so what is your favorite programming language? Oh God, right now I would say either Kotlin, uh, but I'm really interested in Rust. What do you think are your favorite technical books? So the ones that you learn most? Uh, functional and reactive domain modeling is one that I really, really loved. And uh, type-driven development, I think is also really nice. Cool, so define Kotlin in one word. Uh, expressive. Define JavaScript in one word. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you. Uh, define Java, okay, dynamic. And describe Android in one word. Uh, <laughs> boilerplate, 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 boilerplate. <laughs> okay, so choose three adjectives that basis best describe you. Oh my god, uh, lots of energy. That was, that was, that energy, that word, yeah. lots of energy, okay. No adjectives, just three words. <laughs> Energy, technical, chatty. Chatty. <laughs> Very chatty. So what are your three favorite speakers? I like Scott uh, Walching. I like Hadi Haridi. He's actually really nice as a speaker. And I got, I like the guy from the story old software for like funny talks. So if you could be one animal in the world, which one would you be? Yo soy tu gatita, tu gatita. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if I was an animal, I would be a cat. I would, I would definitely be uh, a cat. And which movie character could you be? Oh my god, oh my god. Nobody like, told me that this is easy. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sloth from the Goonies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. So what is the most important advice anybody in the world has given you? Uh, so it is not about you, it's about you can, you can make other people do. Oh wow, yeah, so influence people. What project do you consider the most important career accomplishment so far? Uh, I think the work that we're doing on Arrow is being highly influential. It's really, uh, it's really taking on the community, on the Android community, and also on the backend communities, and think we can push for a little bit more functional code everywhere. So, w when you're a software engineer in your day-to-day -to -day life, what are the things that you enjoy about your work? Uh, I get to interact with a bunch of people, I get to solve real difficult technical problems and it's basically I'm just having fun. Okay, and what are the things that you would like to improve that you don't necessarily like that much? Uh, there, are, there are things that are necessary but uh, create a lot of friction, like mismatch communication in general, and there are some things that are driven by ego that really, really cause me a lot of trouble, more than I actually should. Your ego or others' ego? Others, others' <laughs> ego. Sadly, I try to keep mine in check. It's really difficult, <laughs> but I try. Okay. So now, suppose that uh, you can choose. Okay, so you're 70 years old, and you can literally retire whenever you want in the world. Which city would you choose? Um, right now, I think it would be either Budapest or somewhere in Poland. Okay. Yeah, I, I've never been to Dansk, so I, I haven't chosen my city yet, but I would imagine Dansk would be nice. Now imagine like um, you are 50 years old and I give you 200 million dollars. Yep. What are you going to do with that money? Oh, I'm just throwing like 90% away, going on charity and everything else. There's not, I don't need that much money. And the rest is just going to make sure that my family and my close people are actually doing okay. And I'm going to make a game. So maybe it's like four million or five million or something like that to make a game, a couple maybe, million to solve the maybe people's problems. Maybe more than 10%. <laughs> you can recalculate later fair, on. Fair, fair. Um, okay, so now to finish two last questions. So, um, when you are not working, what are your three hobbies? I do open source, I prefer okay. for conferences, and I play and I play games, I guess. Uh, so, what is your favorite movie and what is your favorite song? Uh, one of my favorite songs is Shelter by Marion and Porter Robinson. Uh, another classic one is Wonder World by Oasis. Okay. <laughs> and favorite movie, uh, it would be really difficult. I like 80s flicks, you know, like Ghostbusters and the Goonies and everything else. So that's really nice. And yeah, I think The Fall is a really good movie. Okay, Paco, so this is the end of the 360. Say goodbye to the guys there. Bye. Hey! 
Yay! This is the end of the interview with Paco. I hope you really enjoyed the interview. Paco is a really great guy and I have so much fun interviewing him. If you want to dive deep on Paco, you have the full interview in the description. If you really like this type of contest, please consider donating. This will allow us to keep doing more interviews and keep producing more content like this one. That's all. Thumbs up, subscribe and share it with your friends. See you next week with a really interesting interview with a CTO of a tech company. Who is gonna be? Just put it on the comments. Who do you think we are gonna interview next week? And also, if you have any other ideas of people that we should interview, just let us know in the comments. Ciao!